No, good evening and welcome to the post-mortem for tonight's meeting at Happy Valley. It looked a good meeting on paper. It panned out as a reasonable night. Uh, we finished up losing a little bit on the evening. Uh, we had a couple of chances. We got beaten in the first leg of the six-up. Uh, but we managed to secure almost five units of the consolation, which paid quite a reasonable dividend. Uh, all the results of that are obviously being posted up on the forum. Uh, starting at race one, Humongous, well, it ran its usual race, got back well back, got a bit of a bump at around the 300 and then come running home and run fifth. Um, hasn't been a good horse to us this year, this thing, and uh, I think from now on, if it wins a race, it'll be winning without ours. Mr. Mar Park was travelling well, coming to the corner, found all sorts of trouble. Barrier one, the shitter he done the job on a good and proper Mosse, uh, like I alluded to the other the other night in a in a preview, him back in the field between runners, no hope. You're never going to get any chance. Um, he's just going to panic in there. He's at that stage of his uh, riding career now. Um, the winner, yeah, was unplaced in the 18 previous starts and started eight to one. New trainer, uh, obviously found something in its uh, in its format to uh, to improve it. May win another one, who knows? The rest of them wouldn't be wanting to feed too many of these. Uh, race two, Navelle Start just went nuts up near the lead and that was the end of it. Uh, naughty Baby started odds on. You've got to have a sense of humour to be backing this horse into odds on. Um, it's not much good. It looked a winning chance, but it battled on. True Courage ran right up to the good trial, swamped them late, it was a good win. Make It ran on from well back as usual. Not much about the rest. Race three, twin turbo. Again, Mossy fixed this up good and proper. Gave it little hope, come flying home, run fourth, beating about three quarters of the length. Anybody else riding on it probably wins. Uh, you will be glorious. They went forward on this first time in its life. It settled in the first three or four. It was gone at the turn. You can't be riding horses like this upside down. Uh, the winner was one that's rated right down near the bottom, had no form at all, and uh, came to Happy Valley for the first time, sat on the speed, kicked away, opened up three or four length lead and managed to hang on and win by an eyebrow. Um, of the rest, probably the better run was uh, Electronic Fortune come running home late. It was a good run. Race four, uh, Automo, which we uh, went for in our parlay, got the money for us at a good price. Um, uh, Ryad nah, was mediocre to, to say the least. Sight level was a little bit unlucky, got buried down on the rails and battled on okay. Um, step faster, it's getting close now. Again, no favours by who rode it. Uh, wait for the jockey change for it. And Dan Zulu ran on well again. Um, but uh, the winner was strong enough. Sight lover was probably the unlucky runner. Uh, race five, racing two on paper and in the market. They ran one, two miles ahead of the rest. Beauty Sparkle uh, didn't run around this time like it did last start to cost at the race. Went to the front. Bundle of Joy chased it, but couldn't get anywhere near it. Mr Ginger ran on late from well back. And Formula One, uh, this one's getting close. Uh, may win one before the season's finished. We'll be keeping an eye out for it in a, probably a 1,200 metre race. Uh, race six, uh, looked a tough race. Flying Unicorn went to the front and uh, that was it really. They uh, couldn't run it down. Uh, my hometown battled on okay. Grand Elite ran much better this time after uh, the hook job they did on it last start. Supreme Essence ran on again as it normally does. Uh, of the rest, not much can be said. They, were, they performed poorly. Race seven. Uh, we went for Victor Delight in this race uh, as our banker. It led, got attacked up the front, but the tempo was moderate. It was a disappointing run from it. Um, it may have had enough. You'll probably see it in the paddock now. Mazzani and Willie Cazales, they were given absolutely no hope. Settle, uh, settled well back last and second last on a slow tempo. They had no hope. Um, endowing, that was the run of the race. Sat three, four wide for the whole trip and uh, hung on for fourth. Had a drawn a barrier, might have given this a shake. Pure champion was a decent run. And Rainbow Sheik, 
with the 11 kilo drop in the weight, ran right up to its uh, reasonable form and uh, won the race quite convincingly. Uh, the last race, Jazzy Feeling, which we went for, uh, went forward first time in its life, sat outside the lead, three and four wide. Big effort really to hang on and run second. The winner was strong, perfect finish. Ensemble ran reasonable. Behind those, all friends was okay. And Metallic Star came running home from uh, from a fair way back from the wide gate. Uh, all in all, after the early start and getting knocked out of the six up uh, running early, um, I wasn't unhappy at the end of the night to get back, you know, most of the money that we invested. Uh, we go forward to Saturday at Sha Tin. Um, I'll be doing probably the previews Friday, Friday morning, and I'll, I'll get them up Friday night sometime. I'll also review some of the uh, bigger racing from Australia on the weekend with the Stradbroke and a couple of decent races at Flemington. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you've all had a bit of joy on the punt for yourselves. And uh, I'll be seeing you in the next day or two.